means he now uses a wheelchair. But from a story of terrible loss and suffering, there is also hope. Leon is in training and dreams of becoming part of the Haitian team at the London Paralympics. Rags Martel went to meet him. In one of the poorest countries in the world, Leon has lost everything. Two years ago, the Haiti earthquake left him disabled. His home collapsed, killing his wife and eight children. My children love me so much, and I love them so much. When I think of them, I cry and ask God to give me strength. If I think of my wife and kids, I go crazy. This helps him cope with the pain. He says cycling helps him forget. Now, with the help of a London charity, he's part of a project called The Dream, aiming to be the first Haitian team to compete in the Paralympics. For these athletes, it's not the winning that's important, it's the taking part. Competing in London could change the way this nation views disability. In the brutal Haitian poverty, disability has no value. One in ten are disabled here, many victims of the earthquake, but they're rarely seen on the streets or in public. There's a word that's used for people with disabilities in Haiti called kukabai, which basically means worthless in, in their language, and a lot of people, will, that's, that's the name they give to a person with a disability. Leon has become a champion against discrimination. Last November, he represented Haiti in a race in Mexico. There goes the hand cycles and the tricycles. Leon is just one story of survival. 200,000 people were killed in the earthquake here, but 300,000 were severely injured or disabled. Two years after the earthquake, Leon is travelling from his training base in Cap Haitian back to Port-au-Prince. His Paralympic ambition, an inspiration to other victims. I won't be the only one who'll be happy if I get to London. The whole world will be proud of me. Disability has made Leon an outsider, but his London Paralympic dream could give him the support of his country. Rags Martel, London Tonight. Haiti. And there'll be another special report from Haiti tomorrow.